This is an important message. You should definitely watch. There's a beautiful sunny sky today that really invites us to go out. Although, nerds like me will just stay home and play in the shade. But it's kind of getting hot lately, don't you think? Well, brace yourselves, summer is coming. With all this heat coming for us, some houses will get hotter with time. If you don't have an HVAC installed, <laughs> hold on to your fans. What can you do, actually? Hmm. Take my suggestion from last video and clean the dust from your computer. You can also check if your fans are up to par. They are not a fine wine and they will not get better with age. They will start rattling, making noises, weird noises sometimes, and get louder. You should also fan curve adjust if they are PWM and make them a bit more aggressive without going into too much noise. You can also buy low noise adapters to limit their RPM. They can get noisy. You could buy fan controllers if you build something cheap and don't have the PWM option, for instance. Well, you could also buy these amazing Noto ones. I know your colors are flashy, but you have Chromax. Keep in mind that they are somewhat expensive, but if you want a quiet PC, there are very few brands out there that can really match these. You can also take a look at Corsair or Be Quiet. Oh, this is a very old AF Corsair, but there are magnetic levitation ones. ROG is also starting to make some decent magnetic levitation ones, so could be an option. You can also swap your CPU cooler for a better one like an AIO or top-notch notware cooler tower. If you like a big chunk of metal, well, don't get me wrong. They are very good, but they don't look very cool looking to me. No pun intended. Something that you can do is Repaste your CPU could help a lot sometimes. It's getting loud here. I hate loud fans. Ugh. Really, these are useful. You should also decide how do you want your fans installed. There's positive pressure and negative pressure. I normally go for positive, which means more intake by two large 140mm fans and let the magic of convection do the rest. If you don't have much to spend, AMD, especially AMD, stock coolers 
are not, and let me repeat that, are not that bad. I still have one because the core, uh, the AI, AI <laughs> that I want is not yet for sale. And when I do get it, I will do a review about it. ROG Ryogen 2 360. But I digress. Getting back to the, R to the RGB RAID stock core. These are made by Cooler Master, if I'm not mistaken. And if you set the balance and fat curve, it's somewhat quiet. And if you have more fans to go around than the airflow friendly case, well, for now that's all I need. Even when I'm video editing, it won't take me much higher than 70. And, but keep in mind that it's not with every case with all the cases up there. But I do have one last trick for you. Ta-da! Undervolting. Undervolting will help by generating less heat, but do this at your own risk. I have to give you this warning, because you're going out of stock specifications. That means they were not designed to do this out of the box. The same for overclocking. The yeah, that's it. Lower the voltage on your stuff, both CPU and GPU, maybe by 0.05 up to 0.1 volts. And if you get an unstable system, just tweak them out a little bit between. And if it's stable and you're bold, go even further. You can also activate Precision Boost Overdrive for AMD CPUs. Let me show you how I did it on my BIOS with the offset option. Let's go. During boot, press F2, F12 or delete. Go to the tab named Tweaker or something similar and you should see the settings for RAM and CPU here. Look up for CPU core voltage and check if you have offset mode. Then choose the minus and enter a lower value like 0.1 or 0.02. Don't forget to save and exit. Finally, use your GPU software to tweak, tweak the fine settings for each game and maybe leave a lower clock on the desktop? Wanna see it? Alrighty then! In Windows, go to your GPU software and look up for a tuning section. If you have an AMD graphics card, go to the Gaming tab. Here, choose the game and proceed to fine tuning. After this, you need to enable manual. Increase core clock if you want to and decrease voltage a bit. You can also adjust your fans to your liking. In the end, apply, changes and test it out. In the end, a good fan, a clean system, undervolting a bit and maybe an air cut. I hope this summer really is cooler than the last one. It's getting kind of hot. Hope you liked it. If you know the drill, subscribe and share. See you next time.